heart. Um, uh, same goes for the precordium. I'm inspecting that. I can see here that it goes same for the anterior chest, all the color, no lesions, all of that. So for this, I'm going to uh, check for pulsations at the base <coughs> first. Actually, this is the apex. I don't know why I said the base. And then here at the left sternal border and then up here at the base. Okay, so I didn't see any heaves or feel any thrills, so that's good. Next, we're gonna do the um, apical impulse. So for this, I'm just gonna listen at the fourth or fifth intercostal space and the mid clavicular line. Um, so right here. And I would listen and count for this for a full minute. Uh, we'd want it to be between 60 and 100 and regular, and it sounds like a gentle tapping sound. Next, oh, I guess I can keep these out. I'm going to auscultate for all the heart sounds, so making sure I would do the diaphragm, the bell, and the earpieces, making sure all those are clean. So here, I would palpate down to the uh, right second intercostal space and listen here for the aortic sounds. And then the same goes over on this side for the pulmonic sounds. Then down to the third intercostal space for the herbs point. And then down here at the left lower sternal border for tricuspid. And then over here for the mitral at the fifth. Awesome, and then I would switch this around and we'll do the bell at the same spots. Awesome, and if I could have you just lay laterally here we're listening for any S3 or S4 sounds. Okay, you can get back up. Now if you could just lean forward for me, we're gonna listen for any abnormal sounds here at the base. Okay, sounds good. So now we've done the heart. I noticed that the S1 sound was loudest at the apex and the S2 sound was loudest. We can check our carotid while we're here as well. Never at the same time. If you uh, do them at the same time, you can cut off blood flow to the head and you can make that person pass out. <laughs> so you don't want to do that one at a time, always. Um, all right, so we're going to start by listening first. So I'm going to start working my way from head down. So we are going to take a listen first with the bell, right? To listen for any bruises, any thrills, things like that, turbulent blood flow. Okay, nothing abnormal, which is great. And now we're just gonna, you can just relax. I'm just gonna be listening to your heart, okay? I'm gonna move your cross. So we're going to second intercostal space. So this is our apical. So aortic valve, pulmonic valve, second intercostal space, third intercostal space, tricuspid valve, excuse me, it's going to be so it's atrium, pulmonic. Herb's point. And then try to Then mitral valve, fifth intercostal space, mid clavic ear line. And this is going to be our mitral valve. This is going to be also the point of maximum impulse. Another thing while you're doing here, you can also take a finger, palpate the carotid, 
at the same time, you're looking for that uh, equality in both beats. So you're listening and then you're feeling, you're making sure that they're symmetrical, right? So that's gonna signal S1 or that love. Okay, everything's good there. Yes. And then I'm going to palpate. There were no lifts or heaves observed, and then there were no um, thrills or any other pulsations felt upon palpation. So now I'm going to um, inspect the internal and external jugular veins. So if you could look that way for me. And then if I do it the other way. Okay, so I observed a mild internal and external jugular vein pulsation bilaterally. So now I'm going to auscultate. So first I'm going to start at the aortic bowel and then move to the pul pulmonic herbs point and then tricuspid. So the aortic valve is at the right sternal border um, at the second intercostal space. the pulmonic valve is at the second intercostal space on the left sternal border. Herbs point is at the third intercostal space. And the tricuspid valve is at the fourth intercostal space. And then once more with the bell. Okay, so S1 and S2 are crisp. Um, they're not diminished or accentuated. The rate, the Rhythm is regular, and then there are no murmurs or other heart sounds. So now I'm going to auscultate the carotid arteries. So if you could turn. And then I'm going to palpate. Okay, so the carotid arteries were auscultated, there are no bruits or murmurs heard, and then the pulse bilaterally was one plus. So now I'm going to sit you up and re-auscultate uh, re the heart sounds. If you could just lean forward a little bit for me. So again, we're going to do the aortic valve to the pulmonic to herbs point and then to the tricuspid valve with both the diaphragm and the bell. And then again with the bell. Okay, so S1 and S2 are crisp. They're not diminished or accentuated, and then the rhythm is regular, and then there are no murmurs or other heart sounds. So now I'm gonna have you lay back and I'm going to assess the PMI.
So the PMI is going to be at the fifth intercostal space at the midclavicular line. And then if you could just lay on your left side with your left arm up. And with the bell. Okay, so S1 and S2 are crisp, um, not diminished or accentuated, and then the rhythm was regular and there were no murmurs or other heart sounds. And then lastly, I'm going to palpate the aorta. Okay, so the air is palpated, there was no pain or tenderness, and then the pulsation was in a anterior uh, direction. Good. Heart note, before I do that, I'm just going to feel um, a couple spots out and find what we call your apical impulse down here where I can feel your heartbeat. Take a listen to your heart now, okay? And just breathe normal. I'm going to listen at the top, which we call the base again. I'm going to have you lean forward for me. Okay. All right, I'm going to have you lay back and I'm going to listen to your heart again. It's the other side of my stuff. For this last one, I'm going to have you lean towards your left, if you would. <coughs> Excellent. Okay. Okay. You can just breathe normally and then listen to your heart sounds in a few places. Side my stethoscope now. Nice. Okay, so I listen to um your five heart sounds with both sides and S1 and S2 were noted which is the love and the dub mm -hmm. so I heard both sounds and all the um, points of your heart and then I did next I'm gonna move on to the cardiac system I'm just gonna face front again looking noticing for any signs of like pulsed mass um, any scarring maybe from a surgery okay looking at the jugular venous distension I'm not noticing any I'm gonna have you lie back Again, noticing any kind of carotid pulse, no jugular venous ascension is noted, it'd be like in this area. Good. Check the carotid. One at a time. Good. Just listen. For any breweries with the bell. Good. 
Good. That sounds good. No worries were noted. Um, should I palpate? Good. No, no crepitus. That's good. I'm going to go down here to the fifth intercostal space, mid clavicular line on the left side. This is the point where I should be able to feel a, a nice pulse. Matched up with carotid. Very good. All right. Um, there's not really any areas to percuss. I could try to figure out the size of the heart if it's enlarged by percussing, but that's not really used anymore. I'd probably do um, an x-ray to get an accurate reading. Um, I can also tell by that the heart is in the fit, um, in that point of maximal impulse, but that would be a normal finding. Um, so next I'm going to move on to auscultation again, using my diaphragm first, listening to all the areas of the heart, or for heart sounds, looking for even rate, Great rhythm. Okay, that was the aorta on the right side, second intercostal space, right sternal border, and the pulmonic. Le left side, second intercostal space, uh, left sternal border, and down to the third, third intercostal space for herbs point, between the fourth and fifth for the tricuspid, and down here to the fifth intercostal space, mid clavicular line on the left side for the mitral area. Good. So I would go back through and listen to that, all that again using my bell, um, just to see if I heard any extra heart sounds, any murmurs. What I am going to have you do is I'm going to be turning to the left side. Okay. And we're we'll listening at that apex again with my bell for any signs of uh, mitral stenosis. Yeah, it sounds